Sophia Stevenson. And I'm Donna Farrell. This week on Music News, Cash Money Records owes money all over town. Are in-ear headphones worth the risk? Boston police are on the prowl. What's a music cube? And is the internet failing musicians? All this and more on Music News. Watch out, blogger Elliot Van Buskirk recently had part of one lodged in his ear without even knowing. The experience was both painful and costly. According to his ear, nose, and throat doctor, the problem is not at all uncommon, but requires skilled medical intervention. To avoid this problem, we here at Music News recommend over-the-ear headphones. According to Spotify's director of development, Stin Garmark, the company is making a concerted effort to become the operating system of music. Essentially, they want to be the go-to platform for everything music-related. The claim comes as a bit of a surprise considering operating systems generally run on computers and not the internet. EMI has filed suit against Cash Money Records for unpaid royalties on the Carter III album. According to the federal court system, the hip-hop label owes almost $400,000. The payment comes from an agreement made in 2009 during another lawsuit with EMI. Cash Money has failed to uphold their end of the contract, so EMI was once again forced to file suit over the matter. Boston police are once again cracking down on music in the city. Last week they were out to get slam dancers, this week Odd Future is the target. Police abruptly ended their show at the House of Blues after a member of the Odd Future crew was apparently arrested. Then the venue proceeded to cut off mics and stage lights, ending the show to boos from the crowd. Clearly, Boston police are still sensitive about Odd Future's building hopping stunt that took place just one year ago. Next month, Nicholas Jar's record label and art house, Clown and Sunset, will be releasing a compilation called Don't Break My Love. The compilation will not be available on CD, vinyl, or cassette, but rather in the form of a small aluminum cube the label has dubbed the prism. The cube is rechargeable with two headphone jacks on either side and four buttons that allow listeners to play, pause, and skip through tracks. The cube has initially sold out, but more stock should be coming soon. Is the internet failing musicians? Adam Bernard of Music Think Tank would say yes. Bernard argues that while the internet provides artists with plenty of likes and followers, they lack true fan relationships. He claims, the internet has a million ways to communicate and a million ways to sell things, but it's failing when it comes to creating fans. R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet will be back sometime this year. Need we say more? Thanks for watching. I'm Donna. And I'm Sophia. We'll see you next week.